Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Bregaton. Wonder if the gods are watching Let's me. Let's finish looting where Keen's rests. Right, the fire is spreading out there. A little unfortunate timing. Let's pick up all this free food. They have a little too much rotten food in here. I keep my weight under control. fire. Uh, there's a water barrel over there, and I think there's one next to the stairs, too. I'll try to save that one. It may need that upstairs. I'll bring this barrel all the way over here to put out this fire so I have access to these two barrels. Drop that. like that should do. Except for the water, I guess the barrel hit this post here and exploded. Unfortunate. I have another idea. Can I hit it from here? Oh, because I'm blinded. <gasps> oh, stepped in the fire again. <laughs> but my plan worked. All right. It's a little time consuming, but it's kind of a fun little puzzle. Alright, let's send all this stuff back to camp. We have the other side of the first floor to loot, and then upstairs.
Okay. Figured that would break open the bucket of water and put out that little fire, but... I suppose not. Alright. To the other side. Oh, the fire spreading here as well. Alright, I'm gonna use this one over here, just to open the way. Upstairs, we'll figure out some other strategy, because I don't think there's any more water barrels here. I mean, we could have Shadowheart cast create water if we needed to, but I don't really want to waste spell slots. I also jump over a lot of this stuff, so. Also, the fire spreading in here as well. You be a little careful. A ton of alcohol over here. Let's grab all that. Recruitment poster. I've read one of these before, I don't know if it's the same one. Nope, this is different. A man and woman stand side by side in armor emblazoned with a red fist surrounded by flames. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fist. Join today and protect Baldur's Gate. Led by Grand Duke Older Raven Guard himself, you'll be tasked with guarding the city's streets, protecting its people, and upholding the laws that govern us. Speak to any of our friendly fists throughout the city, or visit our headquarters at the Sea Tower of Baldurin. Find out how you can blaze a new career path today. It's lame. I don't know if that's safe. And all this loot probably isn't worth it, but... Why leave it behind? It's just sitting here. I'm sure breathing all this smoke can't be good for my character. Fire again, we'll have to heal up a little bit. That's fine, as long as it's just the one character and not multiple. Broken loot, not too worried about that. Uh, that's probably safe. <clears throat> Light the candle. Uh, I'm sure it'll be lit on its own here shortly. Alright, just a mug of beer. I wouldn't get lit on fire, so... Hey, success. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, let's head upstairs. All 
Alright, so I don't know if we've seen the Approachable East Volume 3 yet. We have not. I knew that Gur is traveling folk with a reputation for fortune telling. You only start to know a people when you sit down and share a tale. At the side of a road, over a pot of bubbling stew, they told me they were the children of Salune, and claim a history stretching back to ancient Rashomon itself. Gur legend tells of two Wiklaran witches, who refused to follow the instructions of their elders. In frustration, the older witches turned the young maidens into songbirds and locked them in a golden cage, saying if they refused to learn, at least they could make music. But the Wiklaran escaped and flew across Faerun. Eventually, exhausted, they landed in the garden of a cleric, who blessed them in the name of Salune, breaking the curse and transforming them back into human form. Since then, they have been Salune's children. All Gur peoples trace their line back to these young maidens. Indeed, some Gur matriarchs even take maiden as a title. Of course, as the beloved of Salune, they no longer practice the Wiklaren's witchcraft, but some say it remains in the blood, that it lets them catch glimpses of the future. It was a magnificent tale, and some excellent stew, but was any of it true? I shall investigate when I reach Rashomon. Perhaps they tell a different story. Okay, I don't want to handle this. It's a wardrobe, a bookshelf, a book, some wine, a wooden chest. Extracts the rule of three. We've read that before, so I'm not going to worry about that. A gilded chest that my character can't lockpick in a cupboard. So I think what I'll do is heal up, jump over here, pick this up, put in my inventory to bring down to Astarian. I could also send it to camp, so I'm not encumbered walking back out. Do the cupboard. Wooden chest, book, wine, wardrobe, and books. And that should be my plan. I'm just going to face tank it. So... Let's not waste any spell slots, we'll use Lay on Hands to top ourselves off. Well, then a couple weak potions. That should probably be enough. Let's quick save. <laughs> 54 gold is worth it that up and the tea. I didn't see that before. Candle. That's probably not worth it. Oh, there is some gold sitting right there. Where'd it go? Take that. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I think it would have been a lot worse had we gone in here when the inferno was raging. Volume 9. Melil is the lord of song. Pray to him for inspiration. Hear his call and sing along. Let his art be your salvation. Merkel is the lord of death, hopelessness and ending things. Will come for all at their last breath, lords and peasants, crooks and kings. Mistra, goddess of all mages. She provides and tends the weave. Revered by many through the ages, all magic we from her receive. Artistarian, hop to. And Hammercraft. It's a mall, but it is not a plus one. That's frustrating. Can I send it to my main character? No time to rest. 
Okay, so what does it do? Shockwave. When the wearer jumps, they deal 1 to 4 thunder damage and a 10 foot radius upon landing. That's really cool. We do a lot of jumping around. And then tenacity, of course, when you miss an attack, you deal 4 bludgeoning damage anyway, which kind of makes up for the fact that it's not a plus 1. The Sword of Justice is so thematic. And Tears Protection is also very handy. Do I keep Tears Protection if I swap out my weapon? I'll check in a second. Let's read the flavor text. The Dwarven grammar is garbled, but the weapon's name suggests something about the importance of first impressions. I don't have it active right now. I'll test it later. For now, we have a dowry to find. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about the representation of malls in the game. Step forward. Swords seem to be favored already. All right, that must be the dowry. Oh, this is the dowry. The dowry ring. A simple gold ring with a simple inscription. Amiri and Benrin. I wonder if it's the whole chest. The quest updated, so I guess not. He probably just wants the ring. Alright, this is where we meet with Rugen's associates. I'll deal with that in a moment. I wonder if you can speak with dead and animals. Can't target beasts. Probably should have read that first. Broken loot. It's still worth 25 gold. Look at me. I'm not a monster. No. You're not one of them at all. I was ready to run you through. My mistake, friend. It's alright. What happened here? An attack. Monsters. Little ones. And taller ones. They took the shiny one. He killed many. Did you kill the goblin in the stable? Yes. It was screaming, waving around its metal. I made him stop screaming. Do you know the dead ox outside? Him? He was the biggest. No, I'm the biggest. Isn't that frightened to me? I guess because I talked him down. This is the spot Rugen marked. Doesn't look like much. Alright, Salazon. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Bugger! Recite Rugen's passphrase. Little serpent, long shadow. Oh, 
Helms, orbs! I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go, then. They'll be on us soon, so if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. All right, let's talk to him again. <sighs> Said you could pass, didn't I? All right. Uh, it doesn't look like it's stealing to loot all this stuff. Let's do that real quick. I have to send a few things to Shadowheart. Send this to Astarian, I think. Shadowheart as well, and... I really don't need all these backpacks. I might send some of these back. The non-unique ones. So we have an Apprentice's Pack, Ordering Adventurer's Pack, Hatch Together Sack. All of these just be regular backpacks, right? It's good to have them on hand. Uh, the portraits I'll also send. Oh! Uh, this painting is a wash with bold scarlet hues depicting a noble lizard. It's now just raised in a snooty, imperious glare. So we can take these. Bruise from the Hag's Hut. I need to put all this stuff into the book to organize a little bit. Okay, let's get to looting. You mentioned trading down below, so I can overcover myself here, then sell everything once we get downstairs. Let's try a quick save. Maybe there's something here that he doesn't want me to take, but. We can usually talk our way out of that, so I'm not too worried about it. Here if I light the torch. Hmm. Alright, so the ink pot and quill I think sells for like twelve or fifteen. It looks so small from here. Oh the ink pot encumbered me. <laughs> the ink pot that broke the camel's back. Oh, he's gonna throw a fireball over here, and there's all this fire wine. That'd have been pretty disastrous. Looks empty.
All right, here we go. Oh, the Zentarum. Wonder if we'll find that merchant that we saw at the Goblin Camp here. The one that attacked us and ran away. I do believe an apology is in order. Not for me, by the way. Far from it. Ton of stuff down here. Just another crate. How much a bronze keg is worth? One gold, not picking that up. these barrels over here? I don't recall. Engraved key. The outline of a flying dragon is carved into this key's handle, found in the cellar in Joaquin's rest. Enroads by arms dealer Gortash. Nine Fingers. Here follows a report on the Enroads upstart smuggler Enver Gortash has been making on the illicit arms trade in the Shiantar Valley. Though inroads badly understates the case, annexation would be more apt. The former black market leaders, the Knights of the Shield and outside the city, the Zentarum, have largely been supplanted by Gortash's operation. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume that Gortash will stop there. He bears watching, closely. Bursar Uktar. We have to be thorough because we found a magic dagger and a skeleton one time. We just found a key in a random container too, so you never you never know. You always have to do your due diligence. Especially since there's supposedly a merchant down here somewhere, so... Assuming the key that we found is for this. Yeah. Nicely designed. Secrecy always inspires ingenuity. Alright, I'm actually going to call it here. Next time we'll go down the hidden stairs and I guess meet with the Zentarum. And hopefully do some trading. I'm still torn... Oh, let me go ahead and get rid of these. Still torn about this darn mall too. 
I'd love to use it. But the plus one enhancement on the Sword of Justice is... It's a big deal. I really hope that we find more malls as the game progresses. So right now, swords have the spotlight. Oh well. Either way for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.